word of God to be taught with power, power of the Holy Spirit, power to heal, power to bless, and power to protect. Amen. Let us go to the book of Romans chapter 2, verse number 23. You who boast in the law, do you eat, do you dishonor God by breaking the law? Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let us read from verse number uh, 13. For it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight, but it is those who obey the law who are declared righteous. The Bible says that, you know, it is not those who hear the law it is not those who hear the word of God who are righteous, but those who, who obey the, the word of God are declared righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you can say that actions speak louder than words. Then the Bible say that it is not those who hear the law, do I say? One is not declared righteous by, by hearing the law, but we are declared righteous by putting the word of God into practice. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us go to the book of James. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, let us start to read from James chapter 2. The Bible says that in verse number 17, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Amen. The Bible says that faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by faith, by action, is dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen then that means we prove that we believe by acting on the word of God. Amen. We prove that we believe by what? By acting on the word of God. Amen. Not by listening. Everybody can listen to the word of God. Actually, it is easy to listen. Amen. But it is something else to put that word of God into practice. Amen. Anyone can listen. Anyone can listen, but it is something else to put that word of God into what? Into practice. Amen. Then we are proved that we believe by our action. Amen. That's what the Bible says, that in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by, faith, by action, it is there. For example, you know, there are some people you find that I've I've said this, you know, sometimes we have went to the hospital to pray for the sick. I remember when I went to this other ward, it was the children's ward. When I entered there, I prayed for this woman who was there, she was there. Because her, his, her son was sick. And when her son was sick, she got sick also. And she was there in the same ward. Then I'm like, can I pray for you? So that, yes. I prayed for her. After praying for her, I told her, stand up and walk. But, you know, she was like, uh, she was telling me stories. People were, they were like, No. I remember even the name of the child. Mia Amoni, stand up and walk. When she stood up, she began to walk. 
she realized all the pains were gone. She realized that she was healed. But um, as she was still sitting, she was not healed. As she was sitting, not acting on the word, the word of God, the prayer, the power of God could not bring about the results what is supposed to. But when she stand up, she was surprised she was healed. Because, you know, the power of God Amen. is moved by action. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you act towards the prayer, when you act towards the prayer, when you act towards the word of God, then you prove that you believe and you get the results of the prayer that is offered. That's why the Bible is saying here, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith must be accompanied by faith. Amen. Faith must be accompanied by action. You must act towards to show that, to prove that you believe. And as you act like that, you will see the results Amen. of your faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that you believe in verse number 19 of James chapter 2. You believe that there is one God good. Even the demons believe and they shudder. The Bible says that also the demons believe that there is God. And they even tremble. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you want to see the power of God, put action. Amen. You must be a person of action. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that in the book of Romans chapter 2 verse number 13, it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight. The Bible says, but those who obey the law and are declared righteous. It is not only those who hear the word of God. Amen. But it is those after when they've heard the word of God. They obey that word of God and that word of God is able to make them righteous. Amen. Then that means as a children of God we must Make up our mind Amen. to be the doers of the word, Amen. to be the word practitioner. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To be the doers of the word, to be the word practitioner. Pra practitioner. Hallelujah. Amen. As we are still talking about this, let us pass through the book of Matthew, chapter 7. La Kratovrazon Tala Baha Katia Baha. Verse number 24. The Bible says that therefore anyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet did not fall because it is its foundation on the rock. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, the Bible says, you know, when you when you put the word of God into practice, you are like a wise builder. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are like a wise builder, a wise builder who have built his house on, 
on top of the rock. We have activated the anointing. We have activated the power of God. And the power of God is in action concerning whatever they have used in order to build their house. In order to build their life. In order to build their career. In order to build every sector of their life. Amen. Then that means when you practice the word of God, when you don't just listen to the word of God, but listen to the word of God and you put it into practice, you are a wise person. Amen. That wise person is called a wise builder. Amen. Who have built this house on top of the rock. Amen. Unshakable person. Amen. Unshakable person, unshakable career, unshakable things. Why? Everything that belongs to you have been built on top of the rock by the word of God. You have put the word of God into practice. You did not just listen to the word of God. You did not just deceive yourself, but you have put the word of God. And that word of God and the power of God, it is at work in your life. It is at work in every sector of your life when you have practiced that particular word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And in the same way, you want to see the results of the Bible. You know, there are those people, these people, you know, they do have the Bible. When they do have the Bible, they never open their Bible. You know, there are people like that. Some of them, they are so scared during the night. And they put the, the Bible under the pillow. Such kind of the Bible, it won't help you. Such kind of the Bible, when you put the Bible under the, it won't help you. The Bible is not powerful when you close it. Amen. It's powerful when you begin to study the Word of God. You meditate upon it. Amen. That's how it begins to be powerful. Amen. After that, it is more powerful when you put it into practice. Because when you put it into practice, you prove that you believe what is in the Bible. You prove that you believe when you practice what is in the Bible because when you practice it, it shows that you believe it. Amen. You know, even Sangomas have got the Bible. People don't know that. Amen. You know, <laughs> you know, you, you, when you go, I've never been there, but those who I've had some people when they go to, to Sangoma, and they say that, you know, there is a certain Sangoma. When they arrived there, they even saw the Bible. When they saw the Bible, they yes. thought, oh, okay. Uh -uh. Why are these pastors talking against the Sangomas? Because the Sangomas even have the Bible. <laughs> but they don't know that the Sangoma have got a, the Bible to deceive. A Bible that they don't even open it. Amen. It's just there to deceive that when somebody who is lost coming from, who is a Christian going to church, when they see the Bible in the shelf, they will think, ah, oh, they will feel comfortable. Oh, there's a Bible here. <laughs> Amen. There's a Bible here. And they feel like, oh, okay, this means it's the same. It's just that those pastors just don't know that even here there is a Bible. Amen. And uh, there are those also Sangoma who even go further and open the Bible. This Sangoma is not born again. It's not filled with the Holy Ghost and open the Bible. There are, some, there are sitting Sangomas who do that. But you will hear on the interpretation of what they are reading, they will be twisting it. Amen. Because 
Without the Holy Spirit, that Sangoma cannot understand the Word of God. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit, that Sangoma cannot interpret correctly, dissect correctly the, the Word of God. They will twist it. Amen. Then, <laughs> then that means it is not the matter that somebody have got the Bible, number one. Amen. It is not the matter that somebody have opened the Bible, number two. Amen. Sometimes it's not even the matter of how they have read the Bible. Amen. Because I'm talking about this as Sangoma who have got the Bible, which is there for a different reason. There is also a Sangoma who's now opening the Bible for a different reason. Who will twist it? Who will twist the meaning of and break everything that it means? Amen. And use it for the wrong reason. Some of these Sangomas now, they're even calling themselves prophets. Somebody is a Sangoma. It's not even a prophet of God. It's a Sangoma. You know, some, when they say prophet, so, so, so. Okay, sometimes you, you, you say, okay, let me hear when he speaks. <laughs> He's twisting everything. Why? Because they don't have the spirit of God. They've got the spirit of the devil. Amen. The spirit of the devil does not align with practicalizing and acting on the word. Amen. But if you've got the Holy Ghost and you're a child of God, the interpretation will be the interpretation of the Holy Spirit correctly. Amen. That's why Jesus said that I am the way the truth and the life and no one can come to the father except from me that means jesus said i'm the truth and he say that when jesus christ talked about the holy spirit he said that the holy spirit is called the spirit of truth Amen. the spirit of the word of god that's what the bible said that the, the word of god have been written with an inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When the word of God was written, when that word of God is written, it was written by inspiration. They were possessed of the... Those who wrote the word of God, they were possessed of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It was the Holy Spirit who was causing them to write. Even those who were... whom the Bible in the word of God had been written about, it... When they were acting whatever that was supposed to be written in the word of God, they were possessed of the Holy Spirit. And then the word of God, which we told the talk about the Bible, it is the word of this, it, it, it has been written with an inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the book of the Holy Spirit. And for somebody to open it to understand it and to apply it correctly it must not be because of the understanding it is because of the Holy Spirit Amen. that's why that's why we are talking about the Sangoma who will be having the same Bible twisting it twisting it not understanding what he talks about Hallelujah. Amen. Not practicing what he talks about. Not practicing what he talks about. Then only person who can practice what is talking, what the word of God is talking about, it, it will be only by the Spirit of God. And that person will be like a wise builder who's building his house on top of the rock. Who's building his house on top of the rock? Not anybody. Not a, not a Sangoma twisting the word of God. You may think that it's only a Sangoma who's twisting the word of God. Sometimes even people who are not born again. There are some people who are not born again. Just because there was a Bible at home. There was a Bible at home. They tried to open the word of God, but it did not make sense. They never understood it. 
instead of getting the message that God was trying to speak through the Spirit of God, they didn't get it. They get the opposite. Then you find that person trying to argue with the Word of God, argue with what he talks about, twisting it because it is not in accordance to what God was trying to say. They've read it like a newspaper. They've read it like a novel and never understand it. Then there are people like that who did not understand that before you read the holy, the, the holy word of God, the word of God, you need to be possessed by the Holy Ghost first. Amen. Then once you are possessed by the Holy Ghost first, when you read it, it will be as if God is talking to you. And you will read it and you understand what God is trying to say to you. Amen. And then, then don't, don't, don't get surprised. You find that there are some people who act as if they know the word of God, but they are confused. Why are they confused? They were reading it without the Holy Spirit. Because there are those who have read it. Read it like a novel. Read it like a, a newspaper but never God, because the Word of God itself is not it. The Word of God, hey, it needs to be revealed. It needs to be revealed by the Holy Spirit in order to get what God is trying to say. That's why even to talk about the Word of God, you must be anointed first. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's why now we talk about the fivefold ministry the ministry of a pastor, the ministry of the teacher of the word. Why does somebody need to be anointed to teach it? It's because it's of the word of God. In order for you to unlock what God is trying to say, you must be anointed. Then there are those like what you're talking about. They've just found the Bible and read it and it was boring and never understood it. You know, the Bible is talking about one day there was a certain man. The Bible said that this man was a, a Ethiopian Enoch. This Bible said, this man, he used to love God. This man used to love God. Now and then he will go to, to Jerusalem. As he go to Jerusalem, he will be going to Jerusalem. Going to Jerusalem to worship God. And the Bible says that one day he was done coming from Jerusalem, coming back home. And the Bible sent the man of God by the name of Philip. He took Philip and when Philip arrived where this man was, he found Philip opening the Bible in the book of Isaiah. And he's reading the book. He's reading the book of Isaiah. It doesn't make sense to him. He doesn't understand what he's talking about. He's trying to read. Like what many people try to do. And the Bible said that as he's trying to read, <laughs> Philip arrived there and said that, do you understand what you are reading? He said, no, I don't understand. And Philip tell him that, no, the word of God which you are reading about is telling you about Jesus. You know, Isaiah, by this time he was prophesying about the coming of Jesus, but this time Jesus Christ has come, Jesus Christ has died, Jesus Christ has resurrected. Jesus Christ has already gone to heaven. And you can accept him now as your Lord and your Savior. And the Bible say that. And uh, say that, oh, okay, how can I be born again? So that, yes, you can be born again. You can be also be baptized in water. But this Enoch, somebody who was worshiping God already in the Old Testament format, he could not understand the word. Somebody is coming from the temple. He could not understand the word. Not that he don't love God. He loved God. That's why he came from Ethiopia. Amen. 
and he went to Jerusalem. But that doesn't make he qualify him to understand. He needed, he needed to be anointed of the Holy Spirit. Amen. After being anointed of the Holy Spirit, filled of the Holy Spirit. So that he can understand the things of God. Amen. So that he can understand the things of God. And indeed the Bible says that after that he was baptized. Amen. What am I trying to say to you? Yes. The word of God for somebody to understand it. It, doesn't, it, it, is not, it does not end by just having the Bible. It doesn't help. After having the Bible, you need to have Jesus. You need to have the Holy Spirit. After that, you can you can qualify to open it. Amen. Not everybody qualified to open it. Amen. You know, there are also some some churches, which are not really churches, by the way, because a church can only be a church if Jesus Christ is there. Amen. Remember, I want you to get that. Jesus said that unto Peter. Peter, this is uh, in the book of uh, Matthew chapter chapter 13. La kratofrasian tolobrosian talabahaka. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. Okay, the Bible says that this is um Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is found in the book of Matthew chapter 16. The Bible says that you know in verse number 18 and i tell you peter on this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not overcome it that means it can only be a church if it is jesus and that means if it's jesus when you're talking about jesus christ listen to me very carefully Jesus said that where two, the Bible says, Jesus said, where two or three come together in my name, there I am in their midst. That it is called the church. Amen. Jesus Christ is the one who sanctifies the gathering Amen. to be the church. Amen. For example, today, some others are having another kind of conference. Amen. Does it make it a church? No, it's not. It's just a gathering. But it becomes a church when you are gathering in the name of Jesus Christ and He comes to sanctify what you are gathering about. Amen. Then their so-called church, which is not really church. Amen. Some people who doesn't even believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. That's why I'm telling you that even so today, some, even some Sangomas, they are having gatherings like a church, which is not a church, if they don't really believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. And it's all about Jesus who died for them on the cross of Calvary. If it's a gathering, it's just a gathering. Amen. Then there are certain gatherings like that. Which they don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Amen. If they don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. And they, are not, they have not received Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Listen to that leader when they speak. Amen. They will be talking about stories. They will be trusting the word of God. Amen. Because they can't speak about and translate the Bible the way it's supposed to be translated. Amen. And dissect the way, the way it's supposed to be dissected if they don't have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then the Holy Spirit will determine how the word of God will be spoken first. And will determine how the word of God will be put practicalized. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then when we talk about, you know, hallelujah. Amen. Then it's something else to have the Bible. It is something else. To open the Bible without Jesus, you must open it with the Holy help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it is something else to put into practice the Word of God without the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
You must be putting the word of God into practice with an enablement of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then he sanctifies what you are doing. He blesses what you are doing. He anoints what you are doing. Amen. Then you are like a wise builder. Amen. Otherwise you cannot be the wise builder without any enablement of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can only become the wise builder when you are acting on the word filled of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That means you understand. You have the Bible, but before you open it, before you practice it, before you put it into practice, you must be having the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. O Rabba son tali kradia sofradia son talabahaka. Because there are people also who are trying to practice what is from the Bible without the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it also becomes a mess. Amen. You can only put it into practice the way that it needs to be put into practice Amen. when you I have got the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's when we say that Christianity is a spiritual walk. It's a spiritual walk. It's something that you are doing with an enablement and the assistance of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's why at the beginning, when those who, those first believers, when they were excited that he rose from the dead, they were so excited he rose from the dead. Can we go and preach about it? Can you go and put it into practice? Jesus said that, no, wait until you have received the Holy Spirit. Wait until you, before you talk up for me, you, before you act these things out, wait, you will receive the power. And once you have received the power, then you can be my witness. Amen. Then as a child of God, you are a witness, but you can't be a witness without the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can only be the witness of Jesus Christ. Amen. When you have got the Holy Spirit, who will help you to understand the word of God? Amen. Who will help you to speak when you're supposed to speak? Amen. And help you to act when you're supposed to act? Amen. You can then, then, you can be the witness of Jesus Christ. Amen. With an enablement of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyway, because of time tonight, I want you to begin to pray, asking God, asking for you to be filled of the Holy Spirit. You need to be filled, telling Him that I want to be filled of the Holy Spirit so that you can understand the Word of God, so that you can put the Word of God into practice. The way that it needs to be practiced. Ara kinto fraso tolo bo shanda raba. Ara kato fraso dorobo. Nanda la baso dorobo shanda raba. Ora baso dorobo shanda raba. Manda la baso dorobo shanda raba. Arakasya dorobo siandaraba, akatorobo siandaraba yade. We are saying, Holy Ghost, take over us, take over us, Lord. Ora baso dorobo siandaraba yado, antaka baso dorobo. Mandala bason torobo shanda la bayade. Manta kabason tarabasha dolobo. Mayanda rabaso dolobo shanda rababa. Manturobo shanda la bason dolobo. Arakaturobo shanda raba. Mandala bason torobo shanda rubo. Manta kabashan dorobo, 
to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my body. In my body. In my career. In my career. In our countries. In our countries. In every sector of my life. In every sector of my life. Catch fire now. 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 I command it. I command it. Come on. Come on. Ah. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything to turn around for my good. Say everything. Everything. Turn around. Turn around. For my good. For my good. Let there be miracle jobs. Let there be miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle progress. Miracle progress. Say progress. Pro Progress. Progress. Say, I command. I command. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, I don't know what is your problem. I say, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. To that person you were looking for a job, let there be miracle jobs in Jesus' name. Amen. Miracle jobs in Jesus' name. Amen. I command everything to be in order. Amen. Order. Amen. Order. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are not feeling well in your body, check your body. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Wherever you are, say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. From today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. Say me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love shall follow me. Shall follow me all the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. May God bless you and have a blessed night in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day and afternoon and night. Amen. Bye bye.